Thank you, Madam Chairperson, for giving me an opportunity to speak on the motion of thanks of the Presidential Address. Um, Madam, uh, I would like to rise in order to uh, support the motion of thanks on behalf of my political party, the National People's Party, and I would like to extend congratulations and my gratitude on behalf of my state to the Government of India under the able leadership of Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, for continually supporting uh, and assisting my state of Meghalaya. In the presidential address, the president had mentioned about the 50 years of statehood celebration that Meghalaya witnessed this year. And uh, I would like to, Madam, uh, again, once again, thank the government for um, helping the state of Meghalaya and helping us build our infrastructure and the various development pro programs that the government has been assisting us with. Madam, uh, just to give you few statistics, we have built, the government of Meghalaya has built 1,200 kilometers of roads under the PMGSY in three years. We also have a target of uh, achieving the Jal Jeevan mission by, the, uh, by this year, in December 2022, as against the national target of 2024 December. Uh, and I would request the government to continue uh, giving us the support that it has been giving us. Uh, because of paucity of time, Madam, I may not be able to go into details of the developmental works in my state. But I would like to state that since this is 50 years of our statehood, it would be a very, very historic and a very symbolic um, gesture on behalf of the government of India if it accepted the long-standing demand of the people of Meghalaya regarding inclusion of the Garo and the Khasi language in the eighth schedule of the constitution. Madam, this year, a Padma Shri Award was given to Professor Badaplin War, who is a professor in Khasi in the department of Khasi in the Nehu campus in, in uh, Shillong. And Madam uh, Padma Shri being awarded to a professor like that, who is an expert in Khasi, uh, it, it sort of uh, symbolizes and acknowledges the importance of Khasi language in our country. And if in the eighth, eighth schedule, if Garo and Khasi language would be included in, within this year, it would be extremely symbolic for our country, uh, for our state. Uh, Madam, the prime Min the president in in his presidential address talked about air connectivity in the northeast, and uh, in this regard, I would request you that uh, there is an airport in my constituency, the Baljek Airport, um, which needs to be started immediately, and I would request the government to kindly look into this demand. From our state side, in terms of land acquisition and other formalities, we are being uh, done from the state government side. And whatever support we require from the central government, I would really appreciate if you could look into that. Since, Madam, uh, I also represent Northeast states in general, uh, I would also like to um, uh, you know, uh, I would also like to say a few things about the Northeast. Um, the Honorable President spoke about uh, the, you know, the settlement which has reached between the central government and the state government of Assam uh, to end the long dispute that is going on in Karbialong and uh, a peace settlement is uh, being negotiated. In the same manner, I would request that uh, the APSPA, the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, also be repealed, especially in connection with the northeastern states. Uh, we witnessed a very, very unfortunate incident which happened last year in December in Nagaland, uh, which should not have happened, and uh, many lives were lost, many innocent lives were lost, and an incident like this should not repeat itself. Therefore, I request that the APSPA be repealed. Madam, there was a mention again of the national mission on edible oils, palm oil, and an outlay of rupees 11,000 crores has been uh, given for this particular mission. Um, after that, the sentence says, government is also making special efforts like organic farming, 
natural farming and crop diversification. Uh, I somehow feel that, Madam, there is a lot, a little bit of a conflict here. And uh, just to let you know that uh, the forest cover in the Northeast region is about 23% of the country's forest cover. And uh, I think it's very important that we regard the Northeast as a potential, um, you know, carbon sink, um, you know, avenue for India. There is a huge market for carbon sinks for the ecosystem services that forests provide. And instead of looking at palm oil, etc., if we could look at the forest of Northeast and protect the Northeast forest and instead use them for the ecosystem services, I think that would do a larger benefit not only to the region but to the country in general. Madam, there was a mention of the Kelo India centers. Again, the Northeast has a huge potential when it comes to um, our youth who are extremely talented in sports. And I request that when you are saying that you're setting up hundreds of Kelo India centers, some are already being set up in the Northeast, a lot more focus be given to the Northeastern states. Thick, thick. Okay. Ma'am, just one more, uh, just a very small point. Uh, Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana, which has been uh, a life-saving scheme. I would like to congratulate the government for initiating this wonderful scheme during the time of the pandemic. It has really helped the rural population. I urge upon the government to continue the scheme even beyond 2022 March. Uh, and if the uh, MGNRDGA uh, allocation is being reduced, then I feel that there is a, a need to continue the scheme in order to ensure that there's a basic safety net that is provided to the rural population. I conclude by uh, extending my support to the, um, to the motion of thanks on behalf of my party, on behalf, uh, you know, on behalf of um, the National People's Party. And um, with these few words, I thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak. Thank you.